What's good everybody? It's Kush Beaver here back with another Mobile Royale video. Today we got a huge zero in to take a look at, but first I just want to say happy new years to you all. It's 2020, my first video of the new year. Things have been a little bit crazy lately, so that's why it's been a couple weeks since I've put anything out. Either way, like I say, it's always better late than never. So I know I posted up in my last video some reports that at the time were my largest zeroing as a rally lead. And I hate to be repetitive, but here we are again today in that same situation. This is a target I found a couple weeks back. And, um, I mean, it's 11.8 million troops and over 300 million might drop. This wasn't one I was going to pass up out of fear of repetition. So here we are, my largest zeroing as a rally lead. That first rally hurt a little bit just due to the amount of troops that he had and not having a full fill, but the second one was so much better. Now it's pretty easy to tell from the starting might and the ending might that this guy was very troop heavy. I don't even think he had tier 4s unlocked. The tier 4s that were in the first rally were reinforcements that he got from the rest of the guild, but after that all we had left was just tier 3s to kill. Now SGK is a guild that we had been going back and forth with for a couple months now. They would get a couple of ours, we would get a couple of theirs, and you know, we would just get them when we could. But they're really good about getting on and refreshing their shields in time. So as soon as I seen this target, I didn't want to waste any time sitting there trying to scout or anything like that. I immediately just sat on him due to the bad gear, and this time around it worked out in our favor. So as you can see from the reports, there was a really big difference in damage from the first rally to the second rally. The second time around, he didn't have those tier 4 reinforcements. In addition to that, we had a full fill. So with him only having tier 3s and some smaller tier troops left at that point, he ended up melting like a chocolate bar in a car in summertime. It was crazy. So now on to the third rally. This one I didn't get to run, TBK wanted to run Cav on this rally, so, you know, I didn't put up a big fuss about it. It would have been nice to start it and finish it, but at the end of the day, we were all just happy to finish him off and get all those kills in. Now, we did manage to get the leader on this one as well. I bring that up because one thing this guild likes to do is kick people when it comes to rallies like these at the end and they'll have a big player solo the rest of the troops and grab the leader or send a solo just in time to grab the leader only. It really just depends on who's available at the time, but this one we caught at the perfect time of day. There weren't a lot of people on. Like I said, there were a few reinforcements on the first rally, but after that you didn't see any more. And luckily at the end we ended up getting all the kills. We got the leader and everybody got out of there safe too. Nobody got counter rallied or anything like that. So we're coming up on the end of the video here. At this point, I just want to thank everybody that joined these rallies. I also want to once again say Happy New Year to you all. You know, it's 2020 now. I'm hoping for another big year this year. You guys got me up over 200 subscribers last year and hopefully we can do so much more than that this year. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more videos. I plan on having more coming up soon. And uh, thank you all for watching. Have a good one.